What's going on guys? Before I get this commentary going, I thought I'd give you a six kill streak, a quint kill feed. That's right. Five kills in a row in the kill feed with skull shot doing work. Using two guns. Two guns in my hand is double the fun. There's one, two. Here's three. Oh, oh, a double. Here's four. Quad. That's right. A quad in sharpshooter in the kill feed. You can't have it enough. Dang, I was going at it. Right here, I'm on radiation playing some sharpshooter. I am only in any up. I was just getting used to sharpshooter. I didn't really play sharpshooter much. I was more of a fan of sticks and stones and gun games, so I thought I'd give this a try. I got in the game, and let's say I go to town. A St. Paddy's Day massacre for everyone. Look at this. I'm already in first place. Everyone's in first place, but not for long. Give it to me. I really don't like this gun. What is this, the RPK? I am not a fan of this gun. I just completed a challenge on the contracts using it and it murders me I would go positive I'd go negative there was never consistent you know consistent use of this gun it bounces way too much you have to burst it pretty much like it's the M16 and I get destroyed across the map but regardless I'm gonna go on a tear just like in the the clip at the start of this when I have two guns in my hands it's I'm at an advantage double the fun it's it's just, it's unbelievable. And the weapon cycling, this is why I love sharpshooter. I, everyone's at the same advantage. Nobody's on sniper rifles while someone's on the Magnum. And let me just say something. The stakeout is where it's at. Boom. Boom. That was bad shot. Boom. In the back. I love the stakeout. If you haven't run around with the stakeout yet, um, you're missing out. Double! Did that really just happen? Okay. Yeah, it did? All right. There's something about double kills with the shotguns that just makes you feel good about yourself. Like, you're actually worth something in an online video game. And, once again, another shot to the back of the head. I, I love this gun. If I haven't said that already, I really love this gun. Sometimes, you know, you're going to have those rough games. But when you're playing an objective-based game, if you're on a lightweight on this, uh, and you're around with the shotgun, it's magic. Two guns in my hand. What I tell you, two guns in my hand, you can't, you can't handle it. I, I get killed here, but oh boy, here I go. Two guns in my hand. One. Done. Reload. Where are, where are they at? Where are they at? One in my hand. I mean, two guns in my hand. One down. Ah, I think I die real quick. I can't remember. See, I'm doing... This, this is the fun part about commentary. Is you, you get a good gameplay, and you watch it again right before you do the commentary, and you think, man, that was a pretty good game. You know, I wish I could have done things a little bit better. And then uh, you realize... Uh, you've already forgotten things. So there it is, right here. Down. Below. Down to the ground. Boom. Down to the ground. Not again, you say? Yep. Down to the ground. Sniper rifles. This, the hit detection with this sniper rifle in this game, the connection was so bad. What? How did I miss? A hit marker? Did that hit his throat? I have to hit him twice in the throat to kill him. Boom. Sit down to the ground. I love this sniper rifle though. If you haven't seen that my Black Ops montage, this is the one I use. Right there, horrible shot. Let me tell you that. Horrible shot. I shot his backpack. That should have been a kill. A hit marker? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? A hit marker in that? Again. What is this guy dodging bullets? I miss him again. Now, those the last couple of shots were bad. And this one we kinda go tit for tat. I shoot him, the other guy on the ground shoots me. Uh I haven't really used this sniper rifle yet. I think once I get it, I just uh, I just prestige, so I don't have all the sniper rifles yet. But I think I'm going to try this one in my next montage. Um, but there's something about that last sniper rifle. Don't use the wah unless you're playing hardcore. I can't stand the wah. It, it's just too weak. You have to shoot someone three times with a sniper rifle. makes no sense to me, but whatever. And here I'm going to get the lucky no-scope here. Shot him in the shoes. That I can understand the hit marker. Uh, hip and above, that, that's got to be dead. Maybe the stomach not a kill. And no scope. No, it wasn't the knife. I got the no scope. Reload, switch classes. And I'm going to pull a fancy move. What? Whoa, that was bad sniping. Now, I, I regret having the name Skull Shot after that. I'm going to pull a sneaky move here. Boom. There's one kill. Ah, good shot in the back. I, right here, I'm going to pull a sneaky move. 
You see that air vent right in front of me? I'm gonna use that to my advantage. I get lucky with it, but I'm gonna use it to my advantage. Hit marker. I love hit markers. Hit markers are the greatest thing in the world. All right. So be beware. Here it comes. I know someone's shooting at me. They're gonna shoot at me. They're coming from over there. Oh, there it was. Air vent. And look at that. Hide behind it. Good night. That was dirty, right? That was unreal. I love it. It saved my life. Then I used it to protect myself. Just launch it over if he doesn't see me. There we go. Two in a row. Two things in my hand. Two things in my hand again. I just... Uh, I don't know, guys. When I have two guns in my hand on sharpshooter, it's it's death. It's just... It, you're gonna die, I promise you. Down to the ground. I got double score now. There's no catching up to me. How about another one? Three in a row. Ah! Didn't even look like he was squared up at me. Whatever. I'm still spraying. I'm still spraying. Two things in my hand. So as this game comes to an end, I die one more time, but I finished 27 and 8. Not a bad game in Sharpshooter for my first couple of times playing. Thanks for watching, guys. I got a one in the chamber coming out, so happy St. Patrick's Day Massacre. And for all you NCAA basketball fans, go Bearcats.